Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. With the release of version 5.1, Dorico Elements, Dorico Pro, and even Dorico for iPad now ship with Iconica Sketch, a new orchestral library that's easy to use and sounds great. Let's dive straight in and listen to some of the sounds. I'll start in the string section with the first violins. In play mode, with the Violin 1 track selected, I can use this Edit Instrument button to show Halion Sonic, which is the VST instrument that's used to play the Iconica Sketch sounds. You'll notice the UI looks the same for all instruments, with this list of available techniques across the middle. There are some shorter sounds, such as staccato, and spiccato. Some longer sounds. I can use my mod wheel to control the dynamics of these. The legato patches for all instruments are monophonic, so as you play, you get these lovely transitions between the notes. And then the strings also have these special techniques, pizzicato, tremolo. If I switch to the cellos, you'll see the techniques are set up in the same way, which really helps with ensemble writing. This is the same for all instruments in the library, which is brilliant. Let's have a listen. And double basses. Let's listen to some of the brass now.
amazing. Okay, let me play a selection of some of the woodwind instruments. I love some of these percussion sounds. Just listen to these. Now, what's fantastic about using Iconica Sketch in Dorico is that all you have to do is add instruments to your project and Dorico will handle the rest. The sounds are automatically picked and loaded and as you add articulations and markings to the score, the correct patches are used to play back. Even the dynamics are handled by Dorico as well. This all means it's easy to get some great sounding ensembles. It's amazing to be able to simply say, I want these instruments playing these techniques and for Dorico to handle it for you. But also if you want more control, you've got it in the form of the key editor found down here in the lower zone. You can fine tune the play durations of notes to get the exact performance you're after. And there are velocity, 
and Dynamics editors, and you can manually draw in data for any MIDI controller channel. Now, certain sounds are not included with Iconica Sketch, for example, solo strings. Not to worry though, these are still included with the Hallion Symphonic Orchestra library that has always shipped with Dorico, and they will be chosen automatically for playback when you use single string instruments in your projects. And that's Iconica Sketch, the new orchestral library that's now part of Dorico Elements, Dorico Pro, and Dorico for iPad. iPad-wise, it does work best on an iPad Pro, especially if you want to load lots of sounds at once. I can't wait to hear what you create with Iconica Sketch. I've been having loads of fun with it myself. I've made a video that shows you how to get started with installing the library, and you can listen to some demo projects as well that showcase it with larger ensembles. Thank you so much for watching this video. It really does mean the world to me. Please do subscribe to our channel to learn more about Dorico, and I'll see you next time. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.